know when the system is malchecking and when the system is off, then you need to re-register. So in some studies it says uh, four months. Of course it didn't say how many cases, but usually it's about you need to do about 40 revisions for the 3D recon. Okay, of course if you have if you if you can buy the whole arm that's best uh, or an arrow system, setup time is a bit longer, that translates into a little bit of a longer surgery in terms of blood loss, exposure of the wound. And of course, the number of um, navigated levels is about three to four only, because one, um, the tracking is array, array is most accurate at the level your array is stuck onto. So if your array is stuck onto L4, you can navigate L3, L5, L4 quite accurately, but if you're going to navigate L2 with an array on L4, it may not be so accurate, because the spine is still mobile. Okay. So your navigable levels are only 3 to 4 uh, levels. So if you're doing scoliosis T4 to L3, uh, that's a lot of radiation and a lot of setup time for each uh, 3 to 4 levels you're going to put in your pedicles too. So that's really against uh, deformity surgeons uh, using uh, navigation, using the current technology. Of course, user training, learning curve, and of course the hardware is not cheap. Uh, intra whole arm coming with a uh, metronic uh, stealth navigation system is in excess of a million dollars. Because how much do we then charge the patient? 2,000 per use, 3,000 per use, uh, and, and that 